Last time we looked at uncomputation by example, this C, 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 C naught <laughs> gate, which looked at the AND between three, um, three binary variables, and how we could implement that with just these C, C naught gates. And we could do that with two of them, but we required um, storing some temporary information in this garbage register, which would get entangled with the output if we tried to perform this in superposition. So then we uncomputed just this garbage register. Now, in general, we might not be able to do this. So suppose we had some oracle that took a data register and a couple of other registers, produced the output that we wanted, and the garbage. So that's exactly what we did above with the two Toffoli gates implementing the CCC not gate. However, we don't have the exact way in which it performed this. So it didn't first um, put something into the garbage register and then put something into the output register. So we can't simply invert V now because that would take us back to the original state, the X. 0, 0 state, and the value of the function has not been applied. So the way around this is to do something that looks like this. Back to the picture we had way at the beginning. So there's our V, and we've added now another register, and what this register is used for is to copy the value of the function. And we can do that because it, this is just a, a single base. We're, we're just working in a single basis. We're not trying to copy superpositions. So we produced this function and now we're going to invert and see what happens. The promise will be that the the input register stays where it is, the other two scratch registers return to their original values, and the value of the function appears in the bottom register. So we have our input, our data, and maybe we have these which we call scratch or work registers, and eventually you know, one of them we might call the garbage register, and finally we have our output register. So what does this uh, circuit look like in Dirac notation? We have um, first step, we have V applied to now all four registers, but what happens is that it leaves that last register alone. So we have our function and our garbage and then our last register. And now we have a C naught between, well, the second and last register, so at this point, we end up with x, f of x, garbage, and a copy of f of x. Very good. And now we apply v inverse, and v inverse only acts on these first three registers. So we have the value of the function, the garbage, and the function again that has been copied. But this returns those first three registers to their original state, and so this becomes x, 0, 0, f of x. And we're done.